Hello friends and welcome back to another VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to continue on with our preparations for Series 6 with a Durant team. As you can see on the screen in front of you, we've got Durant, then we've got Gothitelle, Primarina, Arcanine, Amoongus, and Gigalith. So we took a lot of inspiration from this team, from a team report and team that was uh, a very successful in an earlier format from Luka Mir. He's done actually a really comprehensive team report over on Trainer Tower. I'll link it down in the description below and I would recommend even uh, older players, especially new players, to check this team report out. Very cohesive um, and goes into depth on why uh, he's chose the Pokemon, why they work together and, and the cohesion between each and every one of the members there. Um, as you can see, uh, he's got the Gothitelle, Durant, uh, Melotic, Tyranitar, Arcanine, and Sylveon. Obviously, we can't have access to Tyranitar anymore. Um, but a lot of the other members on this team are still available to use. So if you check this out, maybe it will inspire you with um, a Durant build of your own because Durant was very popular early on in the format but then kind of dropped off with a lot of new introductions of Pokemon uh, in Series 5 especially so it dropped off the usage stats a little bit but I think with a lot of the Pokemon that give it a lot of trouble gone now it's probably going to come back in a big way so it's important to understand that Durant is going to be a big threat and maybe it's something that you want to use as well going forward so it was primarily the reason why I wanted to feature it on the channel and create a team for you guys. So as always, what we're going to do is have a couple of games and then I'll chuck up the rental team at the end of the episode. If you're wondering if there's a, a poker paste, it is down in the description, so check that out. And as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does really support the channel. It lets me know that you're enjoying this content. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get the notifications for when these teams coming up for our Series 6 preparation are going up and live. So, as I say, we're going to jump into it right now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using this team like the Durant is a Pokemon that I think has a lot of potential and because I haven't used it for a long time uh, it's been like series three maybe was last time I used Durant so it's been a while since I actually had a play around with it and um, it's gonna be a lot of fun so hopefully we find some opponents pretty quickly and we can get into a couple of good games today with it but um, yeah, like I say I think Durant uh, especially with Cinderace kind of being removed from the scene I think Dragapult kind of helps with that as well uh, those faster threats aren't around anymore to give Durant a lot of trouble so makes it easier obviously Incineroar kind of leaving the format as well definitely helps um, obviously a big predominant fire type that we did see a lot of so uh, we've got a lot of options now with the rant. Okay, so we got a first opponent playing a team of Arcanine, Rhyperia, Dusclops, uh, Darmanitan, Rotom Wash, and Amoongus. So it's nice to see a Series 6 legal team. Um, I think there's more and more of them as we're coming on to the casual battle now, ladder now. So if you guys want to practice, it's probably a good place for seeing more players playing these legal Series 6 teams. Um, okay, can we lead Durant? Maybe not because. Um, the Durant, uh, the, the Darmanitan is probably scarfed, I would imagine, on my opponent's team. But we do have Fake Out from Gothitel to give us a little bit of room there. Um, so we could go along those lines. Uh, Got to be careful, as always, of the Amoongus. But other than that, I think we'll be alright. So I'm going to go with Durant, the Gothitel. Uh, I definitely want Primarina in this match. And probably Amoongus, I think, helps us a bunch with the Rotom, helps protect Primarina. Um, and it's got the if the trick room does go up, we've got that spore as well that we can throw out from our end uh, to help us against stuff like Rhyperia because you've got that Dusclops Rhyperia core there with potentially trick room and uh, the the bulldoze weakness policy stuff. So we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll see what we can do in this first one here. But Durant, like I say, I can't hype it enough. I do love Durant. It's because I haven't really played it enough, and um, I was. Earlier on, reading through Luca Mir's report, and honestly, it's so good. I would like—I know I've said it earlier in the video, and I'm repeating myself, but I really would suggest that, like, and and definitely recommend you guys to go and check that out. It's such a good report. Um, okay, we've got Dalmanitan and Rotom, so it's not a bad lead for my opponent, honestly. Uh, they do threaten Will-O-Wisp onto the Durant, of course, with the the Rotom, um, but the the, the Dalmanitan for sure uh, is scary. Um, so I, I definitely want to fake that thing out, and probably want to just go for a Max. I mean, do we go for Max Quake? It gives us a little bit more uh, durability against any special type attacks that are coming out from the Rotom. 
um, and they don't have a, a ground immunity out. The only issue would be if we saw an ally switch from the Rotom, which would be horrendously bad. Um, that would be the only thing. That would be literally the only thing. I think we're going to go for Steel Spike into... Yeah, we're going to go Steel Spike. I don't need to risk it. The defense boost is going to be useful, especially if the Rhyperia comes out later on. Um, and then we can think about Max Quaking after this. I just, uh, I'm going to double in, put all our eggs in one basket against this Don Manitan. I'm just praying that we don't see uh, Ally Switch, which definitely was, there was a great comment. I don't know who it was in the last video. It said, petition to ban Ally Switch from VG or Pokemon in general. I'm totally behind that. Let's get on board with it. Let's start the petition. Um, okay, so what we're going to see. We get the fake out into the Don Manitan, which is great. Um, hopefully going to be able to get rid of this threat yeah we're going to be able to no ally switch here just just the fear of it uh, was enough so we are going to be able to remove it from the field which is brilliant we get a defense boost as well onto Gothitel, onto our durand does worry me a little bit we're giving this rotom a little bit too much room it could nasty plot here which wouldn't be amazing but it's not going to be the end of the world if it does yeah we are going to see that nasty plot so it's probably going to max its next turn um which is the reason why we need to start trying to stack some of these Max Quake damage. And, you know, it might have been better off to go for it there. But you kind of understand the reasons why it didn't go for it in that first instance. Do you see the Arcanine coming in? It's going to get the Intimidate onto Durant. Um, oh, it might be a good time now to, to honestly get our Trick Room up. Um, Just we could get Trick Room up now, and then we are going to be able to get Amoongus onto the field, um, and then put put stuff to sleep. Could go from Max Quake as well into the Arcanine, and we have to face the facts that we're probably going going to lose uh, Durant here. Um, but I mean, if we don't take the Arcanine down, which I don't suspect we will do, we could help in hand. But I think in the long run, it's probably going to be better if we sack Durant, and then. Um, we get a Trick Room up, get a Moongus onto the field, put that Rotten to sleep, shut it down. Um, the likelihood is that we're going to see uh, the Rotten probably attack into Gothitelle, but with a special defense boost, we should take whatever they kind of throw out at us um, as we get that Max Quake into the, the Arcanine. Like I say, we could have helped and handed the Arcanine here, but not... Okay, well, don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, <laughs> Durant just actually bodying Arcanine which is pretty amazing I didn't expect it to take it down but there we go um, of course like I forget because Incineroar is much more like it's, it's way better to uh, it's handling things than um, than Arcanine on the defensive side so you can calc quite easily like Arc uh, Incineroar to take the minus one attacks from Durant but Arcanine not so much Okay, so like I say, we do lose Durant, but at the same time, we are able to get a Trick Room up, which is great. Um, so, depending on what comes in, I mean, my opponent doesn't really have anything slower than Amoongus, um, other than the, the, their own Dusclops, um, which is fine. And is it Dusclops? Nah, it's not going to be. It's going to be the Amoongus, so that's that's alright. So we can just really disrupt what my opponent is trying to do here. We've got Primarina in the back, um, and they're probably likely going to put... Uh, Gothitelle to sleep, I would imagine. Unless they're running like a super speedy Amoongus, which wouldn't make so much sense in their team. If you look at like their their, their build, they're kind of more Trick Room orientated with the Rhyperia, the Dusclops. So it makes sense to have maybe a, a very slow Amoongus in that build rather than the fast one. So I don't think uh, Gothitelle is going to get the jump on it here. So we might just end up with two sleeping Pokemon. But hopefully, like the main thing, what we want to be doing here is just shutting down that Rotom, stopping it from really... Um, doing too much i've actually seen a protect which is interesting um yeah no no safety goggles there which could have been super bad um but we do get the psychic there uh into the protect and um trick room fully enforced now we can i think we go for another psychic here we could go for a helping hand you know um the Gothitelle is kind of important to us because if we lose the Gothitelle, our ways with dealing with the opposing Amoongus become a little bit awkward. Um, we just got to hope that the, the opposing Rotom doesn't wake up, I think. 
Uh, like I say, we could go... I mean, Psychic might be good because we could drop the Special Defense potentially and just go for a Giga Drain here. Um, yeah, but they're using the Spore on us. This is where Ally Switch of our own would come in, but I stand by not using Ally Switch. <laughs> I've got to try and set an example. So we get the Giga Drain into the Rotom. The Helping Hand obviously would have been a little more beneficial there, for sure. Um, and then God does take another nap. So that's the end of its max turns, which is perfect. Now I think what we could potentially do here is maybe switch in. We could switch into Primarina, for sure. Um, as we've got... Um, really, though... Uh, we probably don't we probably don't need to, to be honest. I think we'll just go for another Psychic into... We'll double into the Rotom here. Um, and hopefully the Rotom s snoozes for another couple of turns. We do get the Giga Drain into the Rotom. This should do a nice chunk. It's got the Citrus Berry. If not, then we are going to be able to get it the next turn. It hasn't. Okay, so there's a Slug Bomb. A special Defense Boost on the Gothitel going to help us out massively here. We do take that turn of sleep. And uh, the Rotom actually stays asleep as well. So that's that's massive for us that pretty much seals the game up for us there getting that additional sleep turn there and um Amunga's shown why it's so good in this format as well especially in that trick room environment especially if your opponent has maxed their pokemon you can bring it in and shut them down quite easily uh, if they've not got ways or means around kind of um stopping or preventing the sleep uh, from your end so Adrian gonna make easy work of that Rotom kind of pleased we didn't see the Rhyperia in this matchup honestly as uh, probably the most uh, the, the scariest thing as a prospect but Durant putting in the work early on and I mean that made all the difference for us so I think here with the dimension turn back to normal what we can do is switch we'll go for the psychic and we'll switch into Primarina here I don't suspect my opponent's going to go for a spore into our Amoongus which is the main concern they may go for a sludge bomb um, into that slot but if we can get Primarina onto the field with Gothitelle and we can start doing a bit more damage, it's just at the moment with our Amoongus, we're not really going to be touching it, especially with Giga Drain. So um, it's one of the choices you've got to make. I think you've really primarily only really got room for one attacking move on Amoongus, honestly. Um, either Sludge Bomb or the Giga Drain. Uh, or Energy Ball as well as another option. Pollen Puff as well. But I don't think you've got room for like two there. Because you need, I think you need Protect. Honestly, I think you need, obviously need Rage Powder for the redirection. And the Spore as well is just such a good utility not to use. Um, as we see, another Sludge Bomb coming out. It is going to be into the Primarina slot here. But with that Assault Vest, we do take that a little bit better. And actually get probably a bit more fortunate here. Getting a Poison means that we can't be put to sleep. So kind of will take that for now. Um, but the next round of a damage from us should pick up this Amoongus unless it has got a berry of course um just go for a Moonblast and a Psychic but the Gothitelle obviously going to be one of the last last Pokemon standing here um Gothitelle as well another Pokemon that I feel with the the ban list being introduced has really benefited from that a lot of the threats in the former um have kind of gone and Gothitelle's having a lot easier time so making trapping a, a way more viable option as well I do have a very fun perish trap team that I would like to feature and um, so if you guys would like to see that definitely let me know down in the comment section below and uh, I will uh, I'll get that up as soon as I can Okay, so we will move on, but a nice way for us to kick off today with that big W. Uh, hopefully we can continue that in the next one. And I'd like to be able to feature a few different elements of the team, maybe. I think we've obviously got the, the Gothitelle Durant going there in the first one, but um, there are other mods to the team that we can kind of feature. We've, like, got a little glimpse of the Primarina there, but Primarina, I think with the Assault Vest is a good shout as well. Going into the early stages of this format, um, obviously with the energy ball there gives you the grass coverage which which helps a lot um, when grass types have been kind of nerfed so much going into this new series 6. Okay we've got NG, NG up next playing um, Grimmsnarl, Porygon Z, Meowstic, uh, Draco's Alt, Flygon and Incineroar. So I was going to say it's kind of a legal series 6 team except there's the Incineroar on the end which completely makes it illegal but we'll go into it anyway let's see what we can do uh gothitelle for sure let's go durant um primarina is going to be very good in this we need to be careful with the draco's all uh, of course um 
I probably got in prison, meow stick, honestly. Uh, that would be my guess. Uh, screens, Grim Snarl, mm, T Wave, probably an option there for them. Um, we could go Eaglet, but the, the Flygon worries me quite a bit. I think we're going to have to really rely on Primarina uh, Amoongus here. Um, and is it better to bring Arcanine, to be honest, to this match? Like, Arcanine, uh, like, offensively, not really doing very much. Um, more about the Snarl for the PZ, um, and then the Intimidate for the Draco's ult. Are we going to really need it? That's the thing. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to lock in with the previous four, but I think there are definitely, definitely um, questions hanging over whether I should have probably went maybe Arcanine Amoongus. Especially if we see the PZ lead. Um, they do have... The only thing that would make me not want to go down that route too much is because of the fake out options that they do have. Which could make it very difficult for us to get either a Spore or a Snarl off. Whereas at least this way we can max, we can help in hand. We can just nuke um, the PZ if we want to do this first turn. Which is uh, which is always a good option here. Um, yeah, we're going to see Meow Stick. It has got fake out, it has got a fast fake out as well, so Gothitelle is susceptible to that. So I think I'm just going to go straight for that helping hand. Uh, we're going to go for... Hmm. The question here again is, do we go for the Max Quake, get the special defense boost, or do we just go for the Stab uh, Steel Spike and get a defense boost into the uh, the Porygon Z? And, you know, I'm just going to go for the Steel Spike. I don't mind, uh, I'm not too sure on my Calc. This is the thing, the bad thing about not playing Durant, not being a well-versed Durant player. My Calcs and understanding of... Durant's calcs as we saw in that last game like he wasn't expecting to pick up the knockout onto Arcanine so that's something that you'll get more experience with playing a certain Pokemon or playing a certain call you learn the calcs and it's literally it's not because I don't understand the Pokemon or the team itself it's just literally because I haven't played enough with Durant to know what the calcs are like and I wasn't a, a prominent Durant player earlier on in the format either so we do max Durant here uh, we are going to see the PZ max as well the worst case scenario here is that we lose Durant um, and we, we don't pick up the knockout onto the PZ and we lose the Durant. So we're going to see the PZ max. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if we can pick up the knockout there. So we do get that help in hand, which is going to be the big thing to help us maybe pick up the knockout here. It depends what this Meow Stick goes for. It does go for the fake out, so we are going to see that into the Durant interesting maybe just trying to break a sash there but is this going to be enough it is come on there we go there we go wow the sunlight's coming in madness so sorry if i kind of come across a little bit bleached um my camera sometimes obviously with the sun and the clouds outside makes me a little bit white but we do get the pz so uh that's that's huge and see this is the thing like if i was a bit more comfortable knowing my calcs here i would be able to say We'll get that 100% of the time if we don't see like a reflect or something in that situation. Now we do see the Incineroar come onto the field. Another fake out user. Like I say, one of the reasons why I didn't really want to lead the Amoongus and uh, the Arcanine in that situation just because the fake out, uh, at least with the Gothitelle, we do have ways around. Um, we'll go for Max Quick, helping hand Max Quick into the Incineroar. Now, the problem is here, if they attack the Durant, uh, they've probably got a way to... They may survive this. Like I was talking about Incineroar in that previous match. Oh, they go for the T-Wave. Is it going to be enough to slow us down, though? It has to be a really speedy Incineroar, I think. Yeah, we're still going to get the speed jump on it. And we've done enough now, um, I think, yeah, to kind of close this one up. Now you can see how devastating Durant is um, in situations like this. And we still have the option this next turn to go for maybe a Max Guard and a trick room if we want depending on what my last my opponent's last pokemon is of course and then we can use that maybe uh paralysis to to our advantage there so it is the draco's ult probably is going to outspeed us um but it isn't max we do have a defense boost um i think we can literally just go for another helping hand max quake into the draco's ult has it got fire fang i mean even if it had uh if it has probably life all boosted Helping hand boosted. Everything boosted. Okay. Well, everyone's helping their hands out now. Uh, let's see, Bald Beak into Gothitelle. Okay. That's fine. Wow. And we're fully paralyzed. That, that really is not great. 
<laughs> that really sucks. Uh, okay, I mean the Goth Hotel took that pretty well, uh, considering. So we'll go for a Trick Room, we'll go for a Protect, hopefully get the Protect here. And um, we'll be able to... Uh, okay, we're going to see another Helping Hand. They're going for the, the Bolt Beak again, I think, into Goth Hotel out here. But hopefully we're, we're able to get a Trick Room up. I mean, you look, you saw from the previous damage that uh, we took that pretty comfortably. Uh, they do actually miss here. And, oh, they're going to get... Is that the uh, Blunder Policy? It is. Boost Speed uh, and Accuracy, I think. Um, but perfect time for us to get the Trick Room up now because we're definitely going to get the jump on this uh, Dracozol and set everything else up coming in later in this game. So what we'll do, we'll just go for that Psychic and we'll go for Stomp and Tantrum. That should be enough. Uh, to get the Drake result here, that combination. I mean, we, like, it just helped, saves us a little bit not going for the helping hand because you can see if we go all in on a helping hand, uh, stomping tantrum here, and we are paralyzed, we waste a turn from both Pokemon. At least here, we're going to be able to get, hopefully, a psychic off and then the stomping tantrum. We do see the Thunder Wave now come out from the Meow Stick, um, and it is, yeah, we're not paralyzed, so we are able to pick up a knockout onto this Drake result. And there's a Stomp and Tantrum we don't miss, which is ideal, uh, which is enough. And that kind of wraps up the game because Meow Stick probably hasn't got an offensive um, option here. And it kind of appears like it's more of a, um, just a supportive option. But uh, Durant, Gothitelle, again, done a huge number on my opponent's team. And Durant picked up pretty much every knockout here um, against my opponent so far. So hopefully we can make it a clean sweep. But we're going to see the, the battle cancelled. So... Friends, that is two wins, uh, two great examples of Gothitelle, just the power of Gothitelle Durant. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully it's beneficial. Hopefully it's inspiring some ideas for you uh, going forward in this format. Like the whole idea behind these uh, these early preparation videos is to help you guys get into the new format, get you ready, get your ideas and understanding of what Pokemon will be um, prominent and used by other players so it gives you a little leg up getting started in this format so I'm gonna do the rental team for you guys now I need to take down um, team oh it's sad I have to take down Mudsdale I have to it is a series six uh, five team so it's not really relevant going forward anymore even though Mudsdale probably one of my favorite teams from uh, series six and we'll throw up the Durant and we'll check it. There we go. And then we'll make it public. Didn't really get to see the Gigalith today, but the Gigalith does give you a nice dimension, nice option against Sun teams if you do see them. Especially just get your Trick Room up. You've got nice options with the Redirect to always kind of get that up with Gothitelle there. Um, and then get Gigalith in and start doing some work. So, there is a team, my friends. I hope you enjoy it. There's a rental code there. There is a Poker Piss down in the description below. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you try this team out, um, definitely let me know what your thoughts are. It's ready to go for when that new... Uh, rules is impl implemented next Tuesday on the ladder so um, and if not plan the casual ladder take the poker pace go and show down try it out and uh, see what you like it might inspire some ideas or you might like this build but either way I hope you've enjoyed today's episode just a quick reminder to drop a like on the video do support the channel uh, if you're new do hit that subscribe button thanks so much for tuning in we're going to wrap it up there but we'll be back with more series 6 preparation very soon so this do stay tuned and uh, whatever you do, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.